This is kind of a funny story. She got it at the Goodwill for $6.99 and took a best offer of $450. And she said her dad came over and helped her, like, get it ready to ship and to load it. And he's like, are you sure they understand that this is not, like, a, a relic and that the, this is, like, not super old? And she's like, I got all nervous. She's like, I got nervous. I was worried about it. And she's like, I just was waiting on that feedback. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And hopefully, when you guys are outsourcing for items to resell, you can find these items. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And on this channel, I teach about bolo items. So let's get started. The first item comes from Flippin' It Good, and he is a big money bolo finder, and he shops, um, he actually sources at a lot of places, but he'll go to like Ross and Burlington Coat Factory, and he picks stuff up retail arbitrage and flips it for big bucks. So if you want to learn more about that, he's also getting lost cargo pallets, and he goes to just, you know, garage sales, stuff like that. He is a great sourcer, finds great stuff, and you're going to be impressed when you check it out. So let's start with his first bolo here. He sold this Nikon film camera. The best part is it doesn't work. It's for parts only. He got this at a yard sale for $5 and took a best offer of $100 for this. Parts not working. Like, I don't pick up cameras because I don't want to test them. I guess I could just sell them for parts not working. 100 bucks. That's crazy. All right. The next item is this Rafa Men's Cycling RCC Pro Team Bib Shorts. All right. So this is what it looks like. He um, got these out of a cargo, lost cargo pallet. And he has approximately $9 in this. Sold it for $220 plus shipping. These shoes right here are Adidas Men's 11 and a half Future Natural Solar Yellow Harden Volume 5 Basketball Shoes. Look at them. They got butterflies on them. They're so pretty, right? Um, he got these at Ross for $34.99 and he sold them for a best offer of $150. So when I tell you he picks stuff up at Ross and Burlington and sells it for big money. He does it with clothes. He does it with shoes. It's pretty incredible. Champagne Taste 73. This is her store. She has a lot of really beautiful jewelry. You guys should go and check out some of her stuff. I think a lot of it came from her personal collection. So some really beautiful items. All right, let's see what she sold. That's not it. All right, she sold this Todd J. Warner Zebra Bell. It's a bell from 1997. It's eight inches tall, handmade and scarce. She got this at a thrift store for five bucks and sold it for 115 plus shipping. This is a nightgown. It's vintage and it's, she's got to her measurements there in the title. Look how silky it is i don't know if it's a uh, nylon or satin i'm not really sure but i know a lot of vintage nightgowns can do really really well um antique shop paid ten dollars for it and sold it for 45 dollars plus shipping so vintage yeah she's got vintage there the next item i just love this it is a savings bank lady in the bathtub wind up toy from 1996 is that funny or what? I would love to see a video of how this thing works. <laughs> that would have definitely been on my reseller uh, testing Bolo products channel. You guys would have seen how it worked. Okay, she got this at a thrift store for $7 and sold it for $47 plus shipping. Ohio Treasure Hunters. This is his store. Oh my goodness, no way. There is no way in the world I would ever ship that. 
how on earth you ship that safely? Let me know in the comments. Would you ship this? And if so, how? How do you keep the neck from breaking? Ah, that just scares me. Just, that's just, nope, nope, not doing it. All right, this is his store. Definitely check him out. And I liked this one because I feel like these are everyday items that we see that we could pick up at a really decent price. Um, let's see, where did I put it? He got these at the bins for $8 and he sold these for $59.99. So we got Snoopy and Charlie Brown, you know, just your classics. 60 bucks. All right, I love this also. It's a uh, Teledyne water pick, the original shower massager. And it's got all these different like settings on it. <laughs> it's definitely vintage. Uh, he got this at the Ben's store for a dollar and sold it for 75 plus shipping. Best offer. This is a vintage 1972 Mattel Baby Beans Betty Buy case 1970 non-talking doll extra. So I don't know if maybe the doll, I don't know what that means. It looks like the doll. All right, here it is. Maybe it's not the doll that went with it. Maybe it is. I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Um, he got this at high bid auction, $2 and sold it for $89.99 plus shipping. This right here. Oh my goodness. Check it out. Ellie Corinne Coppell. Frog ice cream seller trinket box. It's a trinket box. It's 925 plated and it is just a cutie patootie right there. Look how cute that is. Look at them frog feet. Ah! Okay. Let's see what it says here. High bid, $13. And he sold it for a full asking price of $224.99 plus shipping. Impressions created. This is... Oh, you guys, I just found a Lucite candle at the Goodwill bins and Ad Planet happened to be there the same day as me. And I'm like, look what I found. And he's like, what? Like, what's that? He didn't know about Lucite candles. Oh my goodness. They're incredible, right? So sparkly, but I only found one. But anyway, really cool store impressions created. Go sub up Dad Planet since I just totally made fun of him. Uh, for not knowing what a Lucite candle is. He does a lot of uh, clothing. Um, he's got a really great store. And we go to the same Goodwill bins. So a lot of times we do collaboration videos. And um, definitely sub up his channel. I'll link it down below. Okay. So what did she sell? She sold this M.A. Hadley Pottery Serving Salad Postable. And she sold it for $124.99. And she got it at a going out of business sale. I don't know if it was like actually from the company. I'm thinking it might have been. And she said that these do pretty well. So I'm not sure if it's like a common item that every we're going to find, but definitely something to look for. There's the marking. It looks like somebody just wrote on it with marker, right? Interesting. This right here, our vintage Joan Rivers multi-strand glass beaded and pearl necklace lot. It's a lot of two and they are stunning. And I love how she displayed it. I just think that really like catches your eye, right? She got a box lot of uh, necklaces at an auction for $5 and she took a best offer of 73 for this. These Russian nesting dolls, five piece set, not cracker ballet. I thought these were really cute. I asked her to send me information on this because I thought they were cool. And she did pay up for this. She paid $21 on an online auction and sold them for a best offer of $66.50. So not huge margins on that, but definitely something to be on the lookout for if you can find it maybe cheaper. This is a Denise Basso, Basso animal print faux fur coat. It's a 2X. And she said that this is a popular QVC brand right here. And she picked this up at an online auction for $7 and sold it for $97.99. And it is um, ultra suede look, so... Oh, Belgique, maybe? Copper bottom steamer and Bane Marie four-part set with lid. Rare, excellent use condition. This is what it looks like. And I like how she did the pictures. She got this at a thrift store for 12 bucks. Took a best offer of $74.77 on those. 
Hippie Thrifter. Again, no YouTube channel, just eBay stores. These eBay stores are linked below. You can click save seller. You will see when they list new items. If they send out coupons, definitely follow these sellers. They are Bolo finders. And they have really cool stuff. It's a great way to educate yourself on different items to learn for. You can go in, learn from. You can go into their store and look at their solds and see what else they're selling, okay? And you might find something you want to buy. But this one, I just loved it. Loved it, loved it. I'm like, somebody could make a whole business out of this. Lazy Boy Power Recliner Parts. So it was a broken chair. She she sold the parts of a broken chair. Do you love it? This motor sold for $100 plus shipping. But she also sold something else. Stay tuned. Right here is a Memorex under the cabinet CD rock, CD clock radio, AM, FM. And again, it's under the counter. Those under the counter things can be a bolo. Can openers, radios, she got this at a thrift store for $5 and sold it for $49.99. Here is another Lazy Boy part. This is the Drive Toggle. <laughs> yeah, $89.99. She has one more listed if anybody's looking for a replacement part for their Lazy Boy. Vintage Addressograph Class 100 and Printer Embossing Machine. I think she said these were for dog tags. Don't quote me on that. I didn't write it down. Uh, free from an attic clean out and sold it for $149.99 plus shipping. Zeph Eclectics. This is her eBay store and she is really just a newer seller, I think. And she is doing so awesome. Wait until you see these bolos. This is a new Miller Lite stand carry golf cart bag. And she sold this for $135 over on Poshmark. And she picked it up at a thrift store for $10. It's a cooler bag. Now, this one kind of caught me off guard. I'm like, what is happening here? Is that a doll? No, it's a person. <laughs> it might be her with these boots. And they're actually boots. And they're fuzzy. And they have like curly, like real. Oh, they're fur. It says Mongolian real fur boots. Huh. And it says fluff mama wool. So she said she loved them so much that she wanted a pair. They're by Bear Paul, but they were kind of pricey. And she ended up selling these for $131 on Poshmark. And then she said, I think she went to Mercari maybe and bought herself a pair. But anyway, these uh, she got at the Goodwill for 20 bucks and sold for 131. These are Hoka. Hoka, I think that's how you say it. And I was like, oh my goodness, they're mismatched shoes. She sold mismatched shoes. At first I thought it was a men's 10 and a half and a women's 11 and a half, but she was just telling what the size tag says because these are unisex. They can be worn by men or women. And I was like so excited that she sold these mismatched shoes that were like two different sizes, but that wasn't it at all. I totally like misread it. And she's like, no, that's, that's how they're sold. And I'm like, oh, okay. Anyway, she took a best offer on these for a hundred dollars. Uh, Hoka, from what I understand is a pretty good bolo. If you see them, definitely look them up. Um, pretty cool item there. And she got those at the Goodwill for 20 and sold them for a hundred. All right, this one right here is a religious three-panel fireplace screen scroll orthodox icon Easter resurrection. Okay, this is kind of a funny story. She got it at the Goodwill for $6.99 and took a best offer of $450. And she said her dad came over and helped her like get it ready to ship and to load it. And he's like, are you sure they understand that this is not like a, a relic and that the, this is like, not super old. And she's like, I got all nervous. She's like, I got nervous. I was worried about it. And she's like, I just was waiting on that feedback. And she got positive feedback. So everything went completely fine. But you know, her dad had her all thinking, oh my goodness, what if, what if I'm like messed up and I didn't use the right keywords? And I just thought that was a cute story. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Cheryl, shiny squirrel. And this is her store right here. Oh, look at that little tissue holder. That is so cute. It goes over a tissue box. That's cute. Great prices. Lots of bread and butter 
might find a Christmas gift over here. Check it out. All right, let's see what she sold. She sold this 1981 Mattel Hot Wheels inside carrying case racetrack playset. And she got this at the Goodwill bins and sold it for $32.99 plus shipping. This one I think is super fun. It's a vintage union suit. It's, it's thermal underwear, you guys. Vintage thermal underwear. How fun is that? Is it a onesie? Oh my goodness, I think it's a onesie. One piece. Yeah, it's a one piece. You can't call it onesie because that would be like a Vero. Um, using the word onesie if it's not onesie brand is a Vero. And if you have not seen my Vero videos, items not to sell on eBay, I have a whole series Go check them out. My Facebook members, what they do is they share items that they have that have been taken off of eBay, either for a Vero or a policy violation. So it's a great way to learn. These are current items being removed from eBay. So check out that series. This one here she got at the Goodwill for $3.99 and took a best offer of $28 plus shipping. So kind of an unexpected bolo there. This one is a Christopher Radko hand-blown glass W or, or VW love bug beetle car. And she thinks she undersold it. And I didn't go check. I usually go check when they say that, but I didn't on this one. But Christopher Radko is definitely a Bolo brand. Um, there's a little tag right here. And this is what the tag looks like. That's how you know it's Radko. For, she got a big bag of ornaments for $4.99, and she said it sold in 15 minutes for full asking price of $36.99 plus shipping. Some Radco ornaments can go in the hundreds of dollars, so definitely look them up if you see them. This one is both the great and the small, and this is her eBay store. You can check out all the cool vintage items she has listed. And... Okay, so the first item she sold is this frog and toad stuffed animal plush Crocodile Creek Arnold Lobel with tag and book. And she got these for $2 and took a best offer of $68 plus shipping. The next item is this amazing mountain man. Uh, it's a blanket coat. It's wool Voyager. Um, it's reenactment. And she got this from her family for free and sold it for $199 plus shipping. These Mucklucks, I think is how you say it, Steger Muckluck winter boots. And she got these at a thrift store for $2 and took a best offer of $95 on those. All right, the next items come from Eye Candy Vintage. And here are some of the items that are currently listed in her store. Oh, look how cute. Look at the little, oh, the bunnies. Oh my goodness, such cute items. All right, she sold this vintage Bates uh, bedspread. It's a full double Snow White um, bedspread. And she got this on Facebook Marketplace for 15 and sold it for 65 plus shipping. The next item is this Forces of Valor CH-47. It's an Army die-cast helicopter model. She got this for seven on Facebook Marketplace and sold it for $52 plus shipping. This one right here is incredible. It's a vintage tin chai bronze art deco glass cat lamp by Andrea Von Sadek. And she got this on Facebook for 20 and sold it for $142.49. So this cat like lights up. That's going to look cool in my thumbnail, right? We'll see if I remember to put it in my thumbnail. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. Cora's Corner. And here are the items that she has listed. And I will link her down below as well also. She has a newer eBay store. So go show her some love and give her a follow by clicking on that heart right there. Um, she sold. She sold some bread and butter here. And I'm going to share that with you. This Christmas sweater. She picked it up for $1 and took a best offer of $17 on this ugly Christmas sweater. So one recommendation I would have right off the bat is more pictures more pictures huh the next item vintage new old stock mini spode blue room collection porcelain plate for a dollhouse so it must be really really tiny how cute 
Oh my goodness, she got this for a dollar and sold it for a best offer of 15 plus shipping. This guy right here is Cameron Avatar. He's the warrior action figure. He's four inches. This is what he looks like. And she sold him for eight bucks. She said she got him for 10 cents, but he sold within 24 hours. So definitely a nice little bread and butter there. All right, we got Franklin Hill Ventures. Um, he is doing a ton over on Whatnot. You guys definitely go follow him on Whatnot. I will link my Whatnot down below. If you click on that and you're new to Whatnot, um, it's basically um, a selling site where they do auctions, online auctions. And I'm going to sell on there, hopefully soon. <laughs> I keep saying that. But you can use my link to join and you'll get $10 to buy if you use my referral link. And then that also takes you over so you can follow me. But when you're over there, follow Franklin Hill Ventures because he is selling a ton on that platform. And he sold this antique uh, Louis Philippe China cup fruit bowl chateau des whatever. I can't say all those big words. Uh, this is what it looks like. Let's get a bottom picture here and you can see what that looks like. So the marks, $147.50 on this and he got it for 50 cents at a yard sale. Woohoo! 50 cents into 147.50. You gotta love that. Ow! Okay, this one right here is an antique Willer and Wilson's sewing machine treen needle case wood with needles. Here's the little needles. How cool is that? Wow. Would you guys have known? I don't know if I would have known. A dollar at a yard sale and sold it for $105 plus shipping. Talk about sourcing cheap, right? The philosophy, philosophy of Alfred Rosenberg, James B. Whisker, 1990 paperback. It is a book. And he got this at a storage clean out. So his cost of goods was nothing except his labor. And he sold this for $30 plus shipping. All right, you guys, which item was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. There's going to be a video popping up here, here. A subscribe and another video here. Check out another video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Be sure to check out the channels and the eBay stores down below. If you would like to join memberships, there is a join button, or you can look for that uh, link down in the description of the video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.